Hey guys, it's Heather here, and today I want to talk to you about the 0.5 mentality, what it is and what has changed. Now, if you've watched my videos, you know that I am a war focused player, and so this video is going to be specifically about war strategy and talking about the 0.5 and upgrade plans. So if you play Clash of Clans for other reasons besides war, then a lot of this won't apply to you. But if you're playing for war and you want to know how best to help your clan and how best to be able to do arranged war matchups, this is the video for you. I'm going to talk about what's going on, what's changed, and some of the theories that are floating out there. Now to give a little bit of a background on what a point five means, that means as you upgrade your town hall, you are focused only on the offense and you neglect your defense. So you're only doing half of your town hall upgrades. So if you go to town hall nine and you only focus on upgrading your heroes, your walls, and of course your offensive troops, that would make you an 8.5 because you have neglected to do the other half of town hall nine to make you a full town hall nine. It's not an official term in Clash of Clans. It's just one that we use in the community to determine how that person has upgraded. Now, historically, what that has allowed you to do is be very strong offense, still have a semi-decent defense, but as you go into clan wars, you get two offensive attacks, only one defense to be able to be three-starred. So that means that you have kind of a leg up on your opponent because you can essentially deliver six stars for your clan while the other clan is only able to gain three stars from you. So historically, going as a 0.5 has been very beneficial to a clan because those 8.5s, for example, have been matched up against against other Town Hall 8s, yet they have the offense of a Town Hall 9, giving them an overwhelming advantage. And because of that, and likely because of complaints, and also because of what we have seen with regards to mashups, there is likely been changes that have taken place to balance that out. Now, as we talk about this, it is important to let you know that I still stand behind the things that I've said in the past with regards to how you upgrade your Town Hall and going in with the 0.5 mindset. I've never been an extremist in that regard. I have never said anything like get both your heroes to 1515 before you drop expos. The thing that I have focused on, and it's very player specific, is that you always want to have an offense that is capable of three starring your own base. So 8.5s, we're going to be talking about you guys a lot because this is really focused against you guys. If, for example, you have gotten your Lava Hounds and you have your Archer Queen and you are able to just roll over any Town Hall 8 and you can three star those low Town Hall 9s with a pentalava loon, then you're okay to drop your expos. If you can three star bases with expos, you can go ahead and drop those. Just always keep offense at the forefront. You're going to focus on offense first, but you don't need to neglect your defense so much that you become a liability to your clan where you're getting matched up against other town hall lines that can just easily come and three star your town hall eight base. Now, multiple people have been talking about this since the September 2015 update. There must have been an unpublished change that directly affected 0.5s. And I would venture even further to say that that undisclosed change specifically targets 8.5s. This, of course, is just based on my own clan matchups, um, how those 8.5s are matching up, and how others outside of my clans are finding their matchups to be. It's just theory here, but man alive, it would be really nice to have some light on this matter for those of us trying to be effective at clan wars and our arranged wars. Based on this and what I'm seeing, my belief is that the Archer Queen is really weighted high offensively. 7.5s, you're, you're not getting really mismatched. 9.5s, you know, not too bad. But the 8.5s are getting killed. And what is the difference? It's the Archer Queen. The other factor that we know for sure is affecting the 8.5s is the wall weight. They've come out and said, that walls are weighted much heavier than they have in the past. Perhaps the walls weren't really even weighted at all. But as an 8.5 at Town Hall 9, where you're able to dump a massive amount of your elixir into walls, that makes you even more off balanced compared to your Town Hall 9 counterparts. 8.5s are incredibly difficult to match up. Even if you have the same number of 8.5s and you make sure that they have the same number of offense and defense and they're completely equally weighted, we're still having a really difficult time to be able to get those clans to match up. And there's this theory from Doc in White Wells that part of the matching algorithm is matching defense to offense, which means an 8.5 clan versus an 8.5 clan that is exactly the same, that's not a perfect match. A perfect match would be an 8.5 
versus a reverse 8.5 where they are all defense and no offense. And maybe the algorithm isn't that complex, but I have no doubt that it's not as simple as we've been talking about. It never has been. It's never been add up the gold in your storages and you have a good enough solution to your match mechanics. There is definitely a huge part of that equation that's missing. Maybe we only have like 33% or 25% of the algorithm with adding up the, you know, the gold and the gold storages and getting that match number. But I can definitely speculate that offense is the largest component of the algorithm. And that is the part that we have no idea on. We have no numbers in the game to tell us what the offense number is and how that affects a matchup. Now, the only way we've been able to do war matchups in the past is to figure out your war weight. And that's by taking the gold in your storages, in your war base on war day, and then adding that up and coming up with a number. The problem with that is your base on the war map is your defensive base, and that number is directly related to your defense. So it's only a small portion of your match algorithm. And that is why I have always said that doing mirror attacks in war is a losing strategy because your war number on your map is only relevant to your defense. It has nothing to do with your offense. It has nothing to do with your talent. It is only how strong your defensive base is in relation to your other clan mates. So you can see if we're only taking that portion of the number, that's the only information we have, how difficult it is to actually match up an entire clan. And if you're really extreme and your offense and your defense are out of sync, then it makes it incredibly difficult for you to be part of a match and to be able to match against the clan that you're going for. So if you're trying to do an arranged war, which is the best part of Clash of Clans, if you haven't done an arranged war, it's like ignorance is bliss. But once you do an arranged war, you just can't get enough. That's all you want to do. And it takes an incredible amount of time. It takes a lot of communication to try and match up. And when that fails, it's incredibly frustrating. It's like quit the game frustrating. So if you're trying to do an arranged war and you have no point fives, then you can base your matchup pretty much on just what the war weight is in the storage is just going off a of defense because your offenses are going to be very similar and they're going to line up. But if you're throwing these point fives into the matchup, then it can really throw things off and the likelihood of you being matched goes down exponentially. Anyways, guys, I don't want to talk too long on this. Just wanted to get those ideas out there, have you talking about it. Also, especially for my clan mates who are coming to me and asking like, when should I upgrade things? My matches aren't doing very well. I'm being matched up against people that are much higher than me. It seems like our matchups are uneven. So I just want to put that out there that to basically focus on your offense, offense first always, but never to the point that you are completely imbalanced, that you can three star much higher than your base, where you get to the point where you can completely roll over your own base. Keep your defense up there so that you don't get completely mismatched and you're finding that your 8.5 defensive base is getting creamed by the other side. You're getting matched up against much higher Town Hall Knights. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. If you have any questions, be sure to follow me in the Bindle Room, hashtag Clash Tutor. Also follow me on Twitter. If you want to be a part of our Kingdom Clans, there are 13 of us now, plus other ones that we're building up, then go to ClashTutor.com forward slash apply and get in a trial war with us. All right, guys, I'll catch you next time.